Hi, my name is Jin Ho Kang, and I'm a senior solutions engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at Esri. In this demonstration, we will georeference the floor plan CAD without geographic or projected coordinate systems. ArcGIS Indoors support all existing geographic or projected coordinate systems. It is up to individual organizations to determine the best horizontal and vertical coordinate systems to plan and embed for their indoor database model. For this video, we're using WGS 1984 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere for horizontal coordinate system and VCS WGS 1984 with the meter unit for the Z coordinate system. In ArcGIS Pro, I added the floor level 1, 2, and 3 CAD drawings as grouped layers to the map view. As you can see, all these CAD drawings land on different geographic locations since the drawings are not geographically or spatially referenced. I will have to georeference those three individual CAD drawings manually. For this exercise, I will use the building footprint from the ArcGIS Online base map to georeference CAD drawings. It is highly recommended to know or have highly accurate and precise horizontal geographic reference locations and use that information to reference the drawings. I will start with first floor level drawing CAD. From floor 1's group layer, I'll select one of the individual layers to activate the CAD Layer Manage tab in ArcGIS Pro. Under the alignment groups, I'll start the georeference tool. For convenience, you can use the Move to Display tool in prepared groups to shift the CAD layers to the map extent on the fly making adding the control points process easy. For our first point, I'll click the northwest corner of the building of the CAD and link it to the building corner on the base map. I'll do this for the southeast corner of the building to set the extent. After setting two points, click Apply from the Adjust groups. The floor level one drawings are now correctly georeferenced. If you have other floor level CAD drawings, with the same X and Y locations in CAD, consider saving the coordinate word file and reusing it for other CAD layers to georeference. Once you're done and happy with the location, save the edit and close the georeference tool. Proceed with georeferencing the other two CAD layers. You can use the georeference floor level 1's building extent corners as the referencing points for the other two CAD layers. Once you're done georeferencing to other CAD layers, you have completed georeferencing your CAD files. This concludes the demonstrating the georeferencing of the floor CAD drawings for ArcGIS indoors. Thank you for watching.